Hi, this is Jessica from Yoga System Reset. And I often get asked by people, why does the nervous system matter? Why am I so fixated on it? So today I want to just share with you a little bit about why I think the nervous system matters so much. And it makes me think of when I was in college, my dad gave me this book by um, a man named Istvan Banya. I think I'm maybe totally mispronouncing his name, but he's a Hungarian born illustrator and he has published a series of books and his illustrations are published all over the place. Um, but this book is called Zoom. And I don't know if any of you know it, but it's a wonderful pictorial book. And of course it tells the story through this man's illustrations. And for instance, in the beginning illustration, what you see is a close up of a rooster. And then the next frame out, what you see are two young kids looking through a window in a house at the rooster. And then the next frame, the perspective widens out a little bit more. And what you see is that the children and the house and the rooster are all part of a miniature landscape that's been created by somebody. And you get the idea, the whole book tells this story about perspective through images and each successive image the aperture is being widened and your um, sense of scope is shifting and your sense of the story is shifting. So I'm sharing that with you because my journey to the nervous system really was kind of like that only in reverse. It was about sort of zooming in instead of zooming out. And basically, you know, I had the privilege of doing hands-on work with people as a body worker and an energy practitioner for uh, almost 20 years. Um, and that's really where this work started. Because people were coming to me often for spiritual guidance. And they were looking to understand at more of a soul level, a whole body, mind, heart, spirit level, why they were experiencing life the way they were experiencing it. And in the work that I did with each and every one of the clients that came to me, I kept being drawn back to the nervous system as being uh, an essential component of what was at the heart of whatever it was that they were seeking resolution around. And so in this very interesting way, through a much more esoteric path, the work kept showing me that the nervous system was this fundamental building block or component to how we feel not just in our bodies, but in our minds, in our hearts, and in our, in our spirits. And so really, the reason that the nervous system matters is it really is the fundamental building block or the core component of how we feel on all of those levels as a whole bodied being. So not only does it impact the quality of our physiology, basically how our body systems are functioning, but our nervous system also really defines the way in which we're able to think, how clearly we're able to think, how creatively, how strategically. And at a heart level, it defines our ability to connect with um, a sense of empathy, to connect with a sense of compassion, both for self and for other people. It defines our ability to connect meaningfully um, in relationships with other people, with other creatures like animals. And at a spiritual level, the state of our nervous system is also basically defining our sense of whether we feel connected to something greater than ourselves. So whatever you want to call that. For some people, it might be a path of service. For other people, um, maybe it's an experience of connecting with the natural world. And yet for others, it may be an experience of connecting with some representation of the divine, whatever that is for you or anyone. But what I found is that when our nervous systems were not healthy, when they were not functioning well and flowing well, what we, what we would say is when they were not well regulating, then all of those components of who we are as whole body beings would be impacted. So our body systems might look like they're off. Our digestion doesn't function. We um, have sleeping issues. We might have tight muscles, etc. But our thinking is changed. We're less capable 
of thinking in creative and strategic ways when our nervous system is dysregulated. And we're certainly less capable of having um, a relationship of kindness with ourselves or others if we're in a state of constant activation or agitation. And if we're not able to connect with others, that also means generally we're not able to connect with a larger experience of ourselves. So ourselves in embedded in something bigger than just this, the little me, right? And our, our personal story or our personal drama. So that is kind of my just really quick um, summation of why I think the nervous system is so important. I do think that is the fundamental building block upon which the rest of our experience in life are built. And it, it sounds kind of mechanistic, but I don't mean it in that way. I really mean it as a very, in a very spiritual context. We have to pay attention to our bodies. We have to pay attention to the driving force behind our physiology, which is our nervous system, in order to have a more expanded experience of health and wellness on all levels. So if this is something that intrigues you, I invite you to check out some of my other video messages posted here. Um, I, especially you might want to check out Nervous System 101 where I talk about the working model that I've developed to explain the nervous system and how it functions to my clients. And um, I hope this is helpful information. Thanks for tuning in.